Welcome back guys, so I've got another classic set for you today, it's 6450, it's the Lego light and sound system, mobile police truck, absolutely love this thing. This was known in the UK just as police van, it's got 77 pieces, you'd think it'd be more but that battery pack does take up a lot of space in this police van which I'll show you in a minute. Um, it's a set from 1985. You can see there on the side of the box. It's actually listed as 1986 brick set for some reason. Don't know whether it was launched at the back end of the year, which possibly may be why that is. Just the one minifigure. And I had some real problems with this set. You probably remember in the last haul video, I showed you this and I bought it basically for the box with the plastic insert and a lot of the pieces that came with this set were really grubby in fact it was filthy uh, the battery pack didn't work it had a battery in it that had probably been there about 20 years that had leaked into the battery pack i'll show you some of those pieces in just a minute so what did i do i thought i could probably salvage a lot of it in fact i could salvage some of these pieces from that set but i bought another one and got the instructions with that set as well so the new one that i bought was complete but didn't have some of these extra plates with it. There are extra pieces that come with these sets. So I managed to make a complete, nice condition police van from the two. And now I've got a nice set with the original box, plastic insert, and it just looks great, doesn't it? I've also got the fire engine, which I'll show you in just a moment as well. But we'll build this up. I'll quickly show you those grubby pieces. We'll build it up and then we'll show this police van to you. Just to quickly show you some of the grubby pieces that came with the, the, the original set that came with the box. You probably can't really tell on this video, but a lot of these pieces are really, really yellowed. Pretty grubby. That's the inside of the battery pack, and it looked far worse than this. I've cleaned it up a bit. I may be able to get this working again, but it's probably going to need like a new um, contact piece in there. It is pretty yellow. These wheels were pretty filthy. I'm probably going to bin these. I've tried to clean these, but I can't. These are all really yellowed pieces. And that battery pack does have the stickers on the side, but again, pretty grubby and pretty yellowed. And then the other set that I bought had all these pieces spare. And they are new plate pieces. And you can tell because they've got the hollow anti-studs. And these pieces don't go with that set, so we'll just chuck those in the Lego collection upstairs. Okay, so here's our finished truck. And it's quite small, a bit smaller than the fire engine. I'll show you them together in a minute. And we've got our minifigure inside there. Probably got to mention this is the correct minifigure. This is the one that I got with the set. This is the one that I got with the, the separate model that I bought afterwards, so this one's wrong. And he sits in there quite nicely, does have opening doors. And got space on the side for a walkie-talkie. And there's some little barriers, one on the other side as well. With a, like a little handheld, I guess, a stop sign or a light. And a loud hailer on the side of here. Oop, we're just going a bit blurry. There we go. And just a tiny amount of storage space in the back. Just enough room for a couple of road signs and you can see they're the back of the battery pack so it's eight by four by three essentially so it takes up all of that space which just leaves you this tiny little space in the back to put a couple of those and that is basically it You've got a little dial on top, the lights, and you press this button. This one is kind of buried in there a little bit, so it's a little bit difficult just to get it sort of depressed, but there's your lights, and then you turn this, and you've got two different sirens. More of a traditional British siren from the from the 80s, I guess. Ooh, that's the first time it's done that. I don't know if the battery's potentially going that I got, but then you get more of an American type siren. And the beauty of this system, of course, as well, is it's got a 9 volt battery in there, so this will last a long time, as opposed to the new system, where you 
press the button and it goes off about 10 seconds and then goes off and the batteries die almost immediately. So brilliant system this, but the battery packs did take up an awful lot of space. There we go, that's all there is to it. But really nice little thing. Love this old light and sound system. Really happy to have this to add to the fire engine and maybe I'll we'll pick up some more light and sound sets going forward. And just in case you're wondering, they take the big nine volt square batteries these. So big batteries, but they do last quite a long time. Just very quickly, this is the instruction booklet. The staples have just come loose a little bit, unfortunately, so the pages are a bit loose inside, but it's in nice condition otherwise. Just shows you how to put the battery in there. It's a fairly simple build, only 77 pages, goes all the way through to the back. And then there's just a few extra pages here, showing you a few different ways of using those extra plates. Uh, the fire engine I have, this doesn't use any of those extra plates in the alternate build for some reason, but this fire engine, oh, sorry, this police van does. So I'll show the alternate bills on the back of the box. But nice to get those. And they did also come with one of these old service leaflets. It's just a fold out four page one, but all sorts of nice goodies on here. That you used to be able to get. Before there was such a thing as a Lego shop at home. And you had to write in and post this off. <laughs> there you go. Nice to get those with the set though. I'll just quickly show you the box. This box is in great shape. And if you open it up, there's the extra pieces. And I've got an extra one of these as well because I salvaged it from the other set. And they do give you extra lights. And I did get a few more of the blue ones as well. So I've put them all together in this set. And there's our year, like I said, and a few alternate belts. So little black Jeep doesn't use the battery pack at all. So they made a little alternate build without using the light and sound system. And again, this one. And then they've got this, which I think is a bit of a horror, quite frankly. But there you go, it's another alternate build. A couple of pictures just showing the light and sound system there. And then this one, using those extra pieces. No idea what it's supposed to be. Some sort of barricade, I guess. It's nice that they give you those extra pieces just so you can make some mocks. I, I believe every light and sound system set did give you these extra pieces. But yeah, I'm very happy to get a nice condition box with that plastic insert. It does add a lot of value to the set. Just very, very quickly, just side by side. This is our fire engine so you can see it is a bit bigger, the fire engine. And they do give you that extra bit of space to put the hose wheel on the back of it. And it comes with that little tender. So I do love the fire engine. If we just get these going. Fire engine is a bit awkward to get to the little button. So there we go. And we can get them both going. Two different sirens, there we go. Wonderful. Ooh. Brilliant stuff. There we go, guys. Absolutely adore this classic stuff, as you know. Um, just something very special about it. And this is the stuff that I collect. So that's why the majority of my review videos are classic Lego from the eighties. But I hope you enjoyed that. Lovely to add this one to the collection. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Just click underneath, it's so easy, it's free to do. You don't have to do anything else. It really helps me out. I am gonna start doing that new mock that I've been harping on about for months, uh, very, very soon just time constraints and we've been on holiday, but we are gonna try and crack on with that now that the nights are gonna start drawing in and it's gonna start getting a bit cooler. So look out for that very, very soon. Check me out on Instagram, link in the description below, and I'll see you guys really, really soon for another video.